Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. I hodl, I buy Bitcoin, and I say bye to the banks. And I think that is exactly what you should be doing now. But that's also what I'm going to show in this video. Yes, I know we are in pain. But sometimes pain is also pleasure. <laughs> Let's quickly jump into the charts over here, guys. Bam. This is the 4 hour chart. This chart is on the Oryx platform. As you know, I always use the Oryx platform because I have all my data there and multiple charts. Um, I'm going to show you now what is happening at the moment uh, by using the BAM-BAM indicator, of course, a little bit. The BAM-BAM indicator, there you saw the long, here you see the short flag, that's depending on how much I zoom out or zoom in that you can see it. Um, but it's hidden behind that candle. That short flag tells us to short Bitcoin. And um, because it was crossing here, the green line and that gray line, and we saw in the bottom the red line on top, and we saw blue and yellow starting. That was the moment we took that short, and or you should have taken that short, whatever, or spot trade, sold your bitcoins. That would have given you, let's say, we start there at the moment, like around 15%. Um, profit without leverage with leverage of course more we are now waiting for this red area to become green we are at the bottom of the blue cloud so if this red area becomes green and we get green candles and we close the candle above the yellow stepping line that is the moment we can go long again this is the four hour on the one hour let's see what happened in the one hour this is already happening we had the long flag a candle closing above the yellow stepping line the bam bam did already cross over there we still see some blue which is not positive they should be only green when this is only green that is the perfect long and then we would have the long all the way up to 38k yes 38k and not 48k anymore it was a few huge drops in the last couple of weeks this is of course not really cool news but um like this chart is telling us now on the bottom i shared this one many more time before you know, we had these lines from the Fibonacci retracement levels from the previous bull run. There's a day chart. And you know that that red line on top was a very important one, the 2.618. We said the blue one is a very important one, the 1.618, because that is where you can see all these candles hitting that blue line. That's a support zone. And this was the support zone, the red line. We didn't uh, keep support. We broke it. We are now at 35. Uh, I just bought a little bit Bitcoin uh, with the US dollar teeter I have left for all the people that are asking, oh, you're all in, how can you buy it? Because I trade, I buy and I sell. So I sell a little bit here, I buy a little bit there. That's how I multiply my Bitcoins. I'm not selling into my bank accounts because I don't have them. Probably you have them. That's why I'm wearing a t-shirt. Today is the moment to buy Bitcoin and to say buy to the banks. Now, this blue line is around 30K. So if we drop all the way, to that level that is possible there is of course this level over here where you can see that the candles also are hitting a lot of times as support and as resistance that we are finding support now if that level of support breaks that blue line is the next one and it's around 30k so then you can buy the dip a little bit more now next chart the gaussian channel the five day chart we've tracking this for the last two weeks i told you guys yes when we break that midline we will probably visit the bottom line and we did the bottom line was at 35,300 and we did touch that line sorry for the noise that's a helicopter flying over my house to collect my bitcoins now hopefully this wick will be a long wick this candle is going to close in three days and 11 hours if this candle closes a little bit higher then we have this huge long red wick and a small body which is a reversal candle and that is what we expect and hope to see on this chart. Now, in the weekly chart of Bitcoin, um, you can see, I previously said to you guys, higher low, higher low, high, higher high. But this higher low over here, this dotted line, I need to move it now downwards because it is breaking. So the dotted line could now be somewhere around this level. Uh, okay. Um, so it's still a higher low compared to this low of um, 31k 
but if we would go to the bottom of that Gaussian channel or to the bottom of that blue line that I showed in the previous charts, then that would be maybe not a higher low anymore. That's how it works. I also told you many times if this goes from gray to red and back to gray, not positive, bearish. That is not a good sign. This should stay ray, uh, red. And it can only become red if. Uh, yeah, red if this candle closes a shitload higher than it is now and then it's going to close in one day and 11 hours so I am not expecting a huge pull up at the moment so this is not good and then the grey line can drop in the next week to the blue line at 109 and that would be that drop in the price so we need a lot of volume to come in to not see that scenario play out at the moment <clears throat> but over here is the monthly chart keep on hanging in because at the end i have some amazing charts as well um, the monthly chart you can see that we broke that orange line i'm just repeating it again and again and again because i have been telling you that the orange line is very important we broke it and we are finding support on the next um, levels of fibonacci these are these gray lines the bottom line this month would be 26,500. next month around 28,500 and a month after around 30k so if we would go down slowly to 30k that would be the bottom of that line again nobody knows at the moment we can see that the MACD over there is crossing which is bearish we can see the RSI uptrend is broken but we can also see that maybe we are starting to bottom out at this green line before we turn up again which is of course then the reversal now let's jump into some more amazing charts and this is the bam first one um this one is showing you i should move my face a little bit smaller there this one is showing you a uh, charlie b lello had the greatest uh, there on the bottom you can see it that the declines at the moment uh, the major the, uh, the major corrections from the all-time high and um, you can see them over here uh, 45, 55%, 31%, 40, uh, 84%. You know, you can all see them. Even here, almost a 100% decline. All these declines in this, this column were followed up by a return to a new high. 69%, 250%, 100%, 50%, 50 59%, 500%. 80%, you can see them, 580%. Now the question is, what will be the new high of this decline that we see now? And the charts that are showing me that this decline should have a bounce are these. Bam, this is the first one. On this one, um, I will put my face over there. This one, you can see this is created by the rational route. The Bitcoin supply held by short-term hodlers. That's what you can see. Um, the blue dots are the all-time highs, the Bitcoin price, and uh, this one is the SDH supply. So short-term hodlers supply. Um, every time the short-term hodlers supply comes into this red box, one or two times, it doesn't matter, afterwards the price is going up. They came into this box near, like more near the halving two than the halving one here again in the late phase of the halving before the halving three they came into this box two times and after that the price went up this time over here the first time we came into it and that was the 3 to 14k run the second time we came into it before the third halving that's the huge run all the way into the bull market top no top of 2021 and now the second time we get into it even bottoming out almost at the bottom coming up again is this going to be the reversal are we going to go up again into this area over here or that area over here and take the price with us we had not that many all-time highs i think 33 at the moment i think the last bull run we had over 70 all-time highs so are we missing some new all-time highs over here that is the question now on this chart you can see um, kind of the same on this chart is on class note this is the bitcoin reserve risk um, here you can see that every time this yellow line the reserve risk line gets into this green area that is the moment that bitcoin is kind of oversold the moment that people um, you know need to start buying again 
this is the moment it's not that risky to buy Bitcoin and we are entering that zone again just like we entered that zone over there and then came to the bottom and then when we broke out of that zone we had that huge run so we are entering that zone of buying opportunities buy the dip buy Bitcoin buy to the banks just like my t-shirt is saying now is that moment, that moment that you all have been waiting for, that moment that you have been screaming about, FOMOing about, oh, I missed the bull run. Now you can start to dollar cost average into that bull run. Now, bam, over here. This is the last chart that I'm going to share with you guys today. This one is created at the charts BTC, which is now sponsored by um, that magazine over there. Um, this is the Maya multiple. And we are at a level of 0 0.75 and every time we get at that level of 0 0.75 or lower here I'm going to make oh, do it like this just check on the chart what happened with the price you can uh, add the Maya multiple I think at Glassnode so in the last 200 days, this is the Maya multiple um, pasted on the Bitcoin price. And then we have that black line over there as well, um, which is now at 48K. That's the 200 day moving average to be very clear. So we are at the 0 0.75 level that we have been before. We have been there at this moment. And if I pull this up now, you can see that moment that we were at that level there where we were in the price we were here in the price at 30k we went to 67k all of that happened in the last 200 days are we going to see this pull up again into that green area then we will see the same action here again in the next 200 days we could see again a, year, a big run to maybe 75k so this Maya multiple is also saying we should be buying Bitcoin. As it has said, every time when we get into that red area, it was a perfect buy opportunity. In this red area was a perfect buy opportunity. In this red area was a perfect buy opportunity. In this red area will again be a perfect buy opportunity. Now, bam, the video is long enough. It's 13 minutes, but I just hope that I can give you a beautiful Saturday by giving a little bit more insights in what I am doing. That's why I'm wearing the shirt. I am buying Bitcoins. I'm saying buy to the banks. I already said that like five years ago, but now I'm saying buy to my US dollar teethers um, that I got by selling Bitcoin a little bit around the top and that I got by earning, that I got by investing and all that stuff. I'm saying buy to US dollar staters, buy to all the other stable coins. I am buying this dip. I'm buying into Bitcoin dips every time I see these things happening. And you should do the thing same, in my opinion, but my opinion is not a financial advice. My opinion is just a guy that is huddling Bitcoin and again saying buy to many stable coins and banks and buying Bitcoin. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What are you doing? Are you buying? Are you freaking out? Are you selling with loss? Let me know down below in the comments. I will try to chat with you over there as well and maybe even do a live later today um, to, you know, just hopefully be able to help you a little bit. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again, guys. Bam!